Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well for today's valued viewer requested question. Now I'm a bit, up, a bit worried about this one that we might upset super wags, but I think we should just go and do it. We're beholden to the viewers at the end of the day. So our valued viewer, in fact, uh, is not a viewer and is not even valued. It's just drunken Irish uh, saying today. Um, and he's asked a question yesterday, in yesterday's mission. SA page update times should be 300 milliseconds, but very wildly. So he's talking about SA, situational awareness pages, when he's talking about Link 16, Link 16 compliant SA pages. F16, F18, what else have we got, RC? Jeff is not Link 16, I think it's Link That's 17. It. That's those two right now. Well, you know what? We'll do the Jeff as well. Although it's not technically NATO Link 16, I think it's meant to be contemporary. What he's saying is he's said he's got a link. Now, he hasn't sent it to me yet, but he's going to send it to me. And I will trust him for now. And I'll put that link in the video description. And that will be to what he claims where he says all aircraft using Link 16 should have a refresh rate and an update rate on the SA page of 300 milliseconds, third of a second, basic, you know, as near as damn it, instantaneous. They should be pretty much instantaneous in their update. But it says in DCS, this varies wildly. It says some planes will have a couple of seconds, some planes will have 20 seconds. So we'll do this video, we'll put it out, see what you guys think, check out the link whenever it comes in. So it's gonna be a very simple setup. Let me get in my F-16. There, that's our SA page, pretty much. What we've got here is a bad guy and an AWACS. A bad guy is gonna to get to a certain point and then he's gonna disappear because of a trigger. When he disappears, it will give me a call up on the top right of the screen. At that point, I can start the timer and see when the disappearance updates on the Link 16 on the SA page on the F-16. And we'll time it, and it's as simple as that. Now, I know it's a bit in the future, so we can certainly scan forward a bit. Ping, stop. Okay, deactivates at three minutes and 43 seconds. Let me write that down. Pause. And wait. Could have just done it from here, couldn't I suppose? Stop. And we've got 58, so it's 47. So that was 11 seconds on the F-16. It'll be disappearing in two... Disappeared. There's just been IFF as well, look. Okay. And wait, 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 wait. Stop. Is this actual latency? Or is this? It doesn't keep. Doesn't it keep the track well, there though on purpose? It when flashes it when it flashes. It's lost the contact. Maybe it should be the other way around. Obviously, maybe this should be. He should spawn in. First, do all three planes this way, and then do all three planes with him spawning. Roger. In. So we've identified a possible problem there, guys. Of that, we're not sure how the programming of this works. So what we'll do is it disappearing, and then we'll do it spawning in. Then we're pretty sure we'll be good. The reason we're complaining, uh, or Sands complaining about this, by the way, is that because this used to be instant, pretty much, and now they put a delay on it. And with the delay on it, uh, we can't use it for things like dogfights and stuff like that anymore, whereas you used to be able to. Right, uh, four seconds. So 47 is 13 is 17 seconds for the uh, Bog 18. 17 seconds. The question is, Cap, did you start the time when it started flashing or when it disappeared i started the timer when the plane actually disappears i finish the timer when the track disappears from the sa page well you know what if that's a problem then we'll pick the well, that problem will be overcome by when they you know when the plane appears if you know what i mean so let's carry on as we are for now okay we're in the jeff now i'm aware this isn't link 16 but it's i'm pretty sure it's going to be contemporary enough 47 and he's disappeared. Let's see what happens. Mm, it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna disappear. He's not gonna disappear, I'll say. How about that? That's a hell of a thing. That is not Stop. right. Wow. How about that? So uh, that is That's 13 huge. plus 26. It's, uh, 13 plus 26 is 36. 36 seconds on the jib. However, like we've said, uh, as we figured out, you know, disappearing is not really a, a good way of testing this because it, these different systems do different things. When something disappears, they hold on to the tracks and stuff like that. So that's my bad. We're going to change it now so that the plane appears. Fire control radar is off. So we completely make sure we're completely reliant on the AWACS. Probably should have done in the other one as well. But And what we're going to have is we've got a plane here that is going to appear and exactly... 60 seconds and we're going to see how long the it takes for that plane to appear on our SA through the E3A donor uh, and that's it really and it will be completely empirical because 
every time we run this map, that AWAX is going to do exactly the same thing. His B sweep is going to be doing exactly the same thing at the same time. Everything is going to be perfectly empirical here, as far as I can uh, make out. So the plane's about to uh, come in, stand by, wait for it. Uh, stop. So there's a second. There's always a second delay in triggers, by the way. So suck it up. Uh, activated, activated, and we've got the A10 there. So let's see how long it takes in the Falcon. Stop. And we've got 13 seconds, which you could construe as 12 because there's a seconds delay. So I'm going to put it as 12. Uh, which is, and remember I don't have my fire control roll radar on to pollute it, which is one second difference from the disappearing of the track, so you might as well just say call them the same to be honest. Is it going to be the same in the Hornet? We shall see. Stand by. Fire control radar just here. Silent. Just yep, silent. Yeah, yeah, Roger, silence that. So stowed it. Um, SA page. Planes in play. And there she comes. Or is she? Or is she? Stop. Interesting delay, exactly the same. 13, let's make that 12 seconds. So it looks like uh, this guy here has an out, or the, the Link system, Link 16 system has a delay of about 11 to 12 seconds from what we're seeing here. The Jeff, that's going to do Jeffrey Weffrey. Stand by, silent the radar. We hook into the baby at 199. Enter, Master Ness. Zoom out to 60 nautical. Planes in play. Stop! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at that, RC. We've definitely got our radar turned off, haven't we? We're in standby and we're in silent. We've got no B sweep because the radar, you know, the radar wouldn't be Link 16. What do you think about that, RC? It was basically, you know, 300 milliseconds. Yes. So we've got the results there. Let us know if you think there's something we could have done differently there. But radar's off. We're completely reliant on the E3, which is empirically testable because it's repeatable each time. Uh, the guy, ignore the first test of the plane disappearing. That was a bit stupid. Um, just look at the test of them appearing. And we can see that for the F-16, Link 16, to the track to disappear took about 11 seconds. For the track to appear took about 12 seconds. In the F-18, for the track to disappear, took about 17 seconds. For the track to appear, took about 12 seconds. Same as the Falcon. Jeff, disappear, took about 36 seconds. Although it has a different, you know, uh, memory setting, I imagine. And to appear, took basically no seconds. It's pretty much instantaneous. So the Jeff is the only thing that seems to do what it should do, according to uh, Saiyan's data, which I haven't actually managed to find yet, but... So we've done the testing, we've done our job. Um, please comment and let us know what you think. Anything you want to add, RC? Nope. I hope that's useful. See you later.